video, I'm going to tell you a story about a time when a man took me on a date to an ice cream shop. Hi there sweet friends, it's Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia and welcome to my channel. I am working on this rocking chair that I have been dying to work on. So I kind of thought I wanted to save it in the wood tones. And so I decided to put a coat of DIY paint dark into carpet. It's a liquid patina. And I'm outside on my deck and I'm just doing some painting. And I'm sitting here painting it and I'm actually feeling a little sad because I love sitting in this chair. I sit in it like two, three, four times a day. And I'm not gonna be able to sit in it while it dries. Dark and decrepit, it reminds me of chocolate socks. In fact, I have some in the house and I'm going to show you what the difference is because it's almost like you have no difference at all. I'm going pretty thick because I want the wood to be really dark. So, we're at the ice cream shop and my date gets really squirmy when this woman walks in the door. He's got the deer in the headlights look. I'd recommend using a chip brush that you can throw away as dark and decrepit is a wax and glaze. Cleaning brushes that have been used with wax and glaze can be a bit tricky. I purchased it on Facebook Marketplace probably a year ago. It was $40 and it wasn't, it, it's in really good functional condition. Um, but it's really old and woody. It's not very often that I paint without getting paint on me. But DIY paint comes off super easy because it's a water-based paint. This is dark and decrepit. Okay, so I've got Hershey's chocolate sauce on the dark and decrepit board. Debbie, I think you should have called it Hershey's dark liquid patina. Dark and decrepit, it's not really a good name because it doesn't signify what amazing <coughs> results that it does on the board. I'm just saying. So of course I look at my date and say, what was that all about with a giggle in my voice? And my date, with the deer in the headlights look, said to me, it was a really bad breakup. After the woman left the coffee shop, we continued to talk. And he had finished his ice cream, and so I continued to finish my ice cream. Our conversation got a little silly, and things lightened up a lot. And he finished his, and we were hanging out. And he was being, being really silly with me, and he grabbed my ice cream cone and he plopped the whole thing in his mouth and took all of it from me. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? You're eating my ice cream cone. I'm using vintage linen and I'm dry brushing onto my rocking chair. Vintage linen, linen is a white color 
with gray. And when you dry brush, you make sure that your brush is completely dry. You only put a tiny bit of paint on the brush and then you wipe most of it off. You want to use a really light hand to ensure that only a small amount of paint goes on the surface at a time. to remove some of the paint for a more weathered look just wipe down with a moist cloth I finished the rocking chair with a matte clear sealer that is appropriate for furniture that is outdoors. So, we all have things we like and things we don't like. And some of our stories we want to share with others and some we don't. And I'm okay with that. This guy, the date that took me to an ice cream shop, wasn't able to share his story about the bad breakup. I never heard it and that's okay. After the date ended, I never heard from the guy. It seemed strange, but I figured maybe he rekindled with his old love. I hope you enjoyed my video and will try out Dark and Decrepit. Thanks for watching.